Hello everyone, I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, reaction video to the Burnley victory is coming soon. As soon as I figure out some OBS stuff, I'm changing up how I'm going to do the videos uh, for the reactions. So I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, and then I'll post that video here in the next coming days. Definitely before next week. Uh, and then after that, hopefully, be able to bang them out right after the game. But I just got some things to figure out. I'm new to this. Anyways, I wanted to put a video out and talk about Navi Keita, the most beloved player in the Liverpool team right now, it seems like. Well, if you look at Twitter, I mean, everybody loves this guy. I, I don't understand it. I mean, he's a good player, don't get me wrong. But is he really that good? I mean, I saw on Twitter today, it's who should start, Tiago, Henderson, Fabinho or Navi Keita talking about next Saturday's game against Chelsea. And to me, if those three are healthy, it should be Thiago, Fabinho, Henderson. To me, that is our best, strongest um, midfield because Thiago controls the pace of the play. I mean, he's a position, uh, possession master. He grew up in Barcelona. I mean, he went through the whole La Masia Youth Academy. They're known for possession. He played with Iniesta and Xavi. He won a Champions League there. I mean, he went to Bayern Munich. We saw what he could do there with Kimmich. And dominated in the midfield. Won a Champions League there. And now he comes here. And last year, he would have dominated the midfield. And I think he had a good season. Besides the fact that our defense was a shambles. And he had to play so much more defensively than what he's used to. But if you have Fabinho behind him... Fabinho loves to get in, win the ball, intercept things, make some tackles, and he can spray a pass. And then Henderson is like a driving force. The dude's a man on a mission. Just watch the Champions League game between Barcelona. He was the man of the match in the 4-0 uh, victory at Anfield. I mean, Henderson was my man of the match in that game. I know a lot of people say, why not them? Because he came on halftime, scored two goals. But for me, it was Jordan Henderson. Um... But yeah, Navi Keita, man. People love him. People love him, and I don't understand why. He plays the simplest passes. He has no range of passing. His creativity has gone way down. Um, the best thing I did on Saturday was pass the ball back to Costa Simicas so he could cross it in because Navi Keita was like, yeah, I'd rather, rather you cross it in than me because I suck. He doesn't suck. I might be overreacting, but he's not that good. He really isn't. He got like three tackles. He conceded one foul. He only passed the ball 43 times. He tried one long ball, one long pass just to switch the field. And he, it was a 50-50 ball. He just threw it up there. And the defender just headed it because it was nothing. Then you have guys like Virgil van Dyke. We're back here to do that same pass five, six times a game. It's like, what's the point of Navi Keita? I don't know. He wins tackles. So that's why Klopp has him in there. I understand. But you could put anyone in there. I'd rather have Curtis Jones. I'd rather have Thiago. I'd definitely rather have Fabinho. Harvey Elliott looked great. I mean, I'd even, like, if Fabinho can't play on Saturday, I'd rather have Harvey Elliott than Navi Keita. But, man, Liverpool Twitter... Loves this guy, just like they used to love Emre Chan, the slowest player in the world. Takes seven touches when you only need to take two, dribble around, do nothing, and you're good. Like It's mind-boggling, really. Like I've watched both the games, and Navi Keita's... Okay, Oxlade Chamberlain was worse than Navi Keita the first week, but this last week... Nabi Cato was the worst of the three midfielders. I mean, there's no denying it. Jordan Henderson just does what Jordan Henderson does. He's underrated in what he does. He just drives the ball. He makes good passes. He's a solid footballer. Like, there's no denying it. But Nabi Cato, I don't know why the fans love him so much. I just had to put a I just had to put a video out there. Is he good? Yes. Is he starting against Chelsea in a big game good? No. Is he good for, like, cup matches and if we have people injured? Yeah, obviously. He does a serviceable job. But the dude's not world-class. Let's not get it twisted. He's not. 
He just isn't. There's nothing about him as world class. Maybe when he played with RB Leipzig in the Bundesliga, he did some stuff. But now he's just like, he fills a gap. And everyone's like, oh, he's better than Gini Wijnaldum was. Based on what? It's just mind-boggling. The fans are delusional sometimes. Or maybe I'm delusional. Who knows? But I just had to get a video out there about Nabi Keita. I mean, just watch the watch the tape. Watch the game. You'll never see the dude. And if you do, he's taking an eight-yard pass out to the left back or back to Van Dyke so he can actually spray a ball out wide. His range of passing is nothing. It whatever i could rant <laughs> i could rant for a while but i should probably just cut it there and, and and call it quits while i'm ahead um or behind who knows but man dude i was just so frustrated after reading all these tweets i had to post a video i mean he's okay but he's not good maybe i'll do <laughs> maybe i'll do a liverpool player rankings or something and you'll really see how I feel about him. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, or maybe I didn't say, I don't know. Reaction video to Burnley coming out sometime in the next couple days. Also, I will be uploading a video explaining the name of the channel. Because uh, I had a friend ask me what it meant. So he said I should just post a video explaining. So I'll, I'll explain that. i will probably come out here soon. Anyways, have a good week. And get ready for next Saturday because it's a big one. Chelsea. Anyways, thanks, guys.